A very warm welcome to you, my friends, and it is a joy to be with you for the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The Gospel reading is from John chapter 6, verses 41 to 51, and the theme is Stop Complaining. It seems common enough for us these days to hear people complaining about anything and everything. Unfortunately, it is a sign of ingratitude and entitlement to, see the, to say the least. It masks their avoidance of responsibility to correct the faults that they fail to see in themselves and project them on to others instead. And there is a lovely story about the rose bush and the apple tree. The rose bush thinks so highly of itself and said to the apple tree, I am the loveliest of flowers in the world. It went on to say, and people admire me because I give them the best fragrance that makes them happy. It boasted even more and said, I am the most beautiful flower and the most desired symbol of love. And turning to the apple tree, it smugly asked, What about you? You may be a tall tree, but you are nothing but just an ugly tree with small white flowers. And the apple tree humbly replied, Yes, the apple tree answered, You do not give your flowers to men unless you first wound him with your thorns. But I give my fruit to all, even to those who throw stones at me, and I am not complaining. Jesus in our Gospel for this weekend tell the, told the Jews plainly, Stop complaining to each other. John chapter 6, verse 43. Instead, he responded with kindness and generosity, even when the Jews complained, because he said to them, I am the bread that came down from heaven. Those who claim to know Jesus actually do not know him. They think they are familiar with him, but they stifle his work by their lack of faith. They could not conceive of the possibility that he makes good his claims that he is the Son of God and the bread that has come down from heaven. And it is by their presumptuousness that blinded them from seeing with faith what God is doing for them. When we are ungrateful and pigeonhole someone's abilities, we make, them, we make ourselves small because we don't have a generous heart. Similarly, we make ourselves small simply because we cannot contain the greatness and the love of Jesus. Thankfully, God is always bigger than our prejudices and ingratitude. When people throw stone at Jesus and nail him to a tree, he gives of his body and blood like the apple tree. Have we stopped to thank him for giving us the bread of angels as Elijah was given to strengthen him for his journey to walk for 40 days and 40 nights? My dear friends, a good, good Christian is the last person to complain. And Mother Teresa shares with us an important insight. She says, if you judge people, you have no time to love them. So let us not complain, judge, and criticize others. Only then we will have room to love people. So on that note, I have two questions for our reflections. The first is, instead of complaining, what faults can I remedy in myself? The second question is, when was the last time you give apples to those who throw stones at you? And on that note, also invite you to pray together for protection together with Mother Mary. O Mary, you always shine on our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping your faith firm. You, salvation of the Roman people and the whole world, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide so that as in Cana of Galilee, we may return to joy and feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Under your protection, we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger O oh, glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. So thank you for joining me and have a good weekend. And may God bless you to stop complaining all the time. Have a good weekend.